Welcome back for the last day, the last match rather, of the day on uh, day one of group six. Ricky Walden comes in on one win from two matches. And his opponent Martin Gould is on two wins from three. First frame. Martin Gould to break. So the qualification prospects for the semi finals will be a little clearer at the end of the evening. Although there are two more sessions of round robin play tomorrow prior to the semi finals and final in the evening. Table one running somewhat ahead of table two, where the, the first match of the evening is still going. Judd Trump leading Ben Wollaston 2 1. Didn't expect to pot that, so that was a safety. Chance his arm there. And at first glance appears to have got away with it. Martin Gould survived from Group 5 by finishing 5th. Only the two players below him were relegated. No good safety available down into Bork unless Walton could be sure of covering the red just in front of the yellow.
one. The red had a long way to travel, but the cue ball had an unimpeded path to a colour. The black. Yeah. Well, because Gould has held the cue ball on the black spot, black goes on the pink spot. Forty. It's still possible though to the right middle, so that was all right. Nothing wrong with that. What? Twenty one. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Thirty five, thirty six, A little bit pacey. Forty three. Intended to leave the red in front of the yellow as a, something between a half ball and three quarter ball pot. Nice recovery. Bad miss. Martin Gould. 
50. Appears to have covered that red though. I can tell you that Judd Trump has completed a 3-1 win over Ben Wollaston with a break of 103 in the fourth frame. The problem here is that Walden doesn't have a safety to cover the red over the ball pocket. Tried to manufacture a plant, which wasn't set very favourably. So Gould coming to the table already 50 in front has a chance to clinch the opening frame. A good one. Six. Twenty-one. Didn't intend to cannon the green, so the pink is slightly more difficult than it otherwise would have been. Thirty, and the first. So breaks of fifty and thirty give Martin Gould the opening frame. Now we've got a moment or two to bring you up to date with how the league table stands. Lee Hang top of the table, three wins from three. Graham Dot, Martin Gould, Judd Trump, all two wins from three. Ricky Walden, one win from two. 
Michael White and Ben Williston no wins from three. Of course, frames one and possibly frames difference may come into it to decide the four semi-finalists and also the, the fifth place finisher who will be entitled to come back second frame Ricky Walden to break. for group seven in March along with the runner-up and the two losing semi-finalists the winner of course will proceed to the winners group Well, Walden raised his left hand for some reason there, which implies that he attempted the pot, which has turned into a decent safety. I thought he could have played the safety anyway, because the red was a very awkward cutback, very thin also. Poorly directed safety, although he has got the cue ball tight to the ball cushion. One. That was a very good shot. Perfect cueing from tight on the rail. Not an easy shot by any means.
सब Into the middle of the row of three, I would have thought, should still be on the back one. Didn't catch it quite right, but can still 17. pop this red with the spider. More height needed. Not a good outcome at first glance. Didn't mean to finish behind this red. Not easy, bridging across the cushion rail and with quite a bit of distance involved also. Almost, 
and Gould also thought that he would cover the red by means of the green if it didn't drop. He hasn't done so, however. Potted it as slowly as he could to hold as near as possible to this red to middle. But not near enough apparently. I didn't think he'd miss it. It wasn't all that difficult, but it certainly was all or nothing. Missed that pot, and Walden surely would have mopped up enough balls to win the frame. As it is, Gould, even though he came to the table 27 behind, has a chance to take a 2-0 lead. pink spot is now available so black and pink won't be together like this after this shot Into the lead with that black. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. The red nearest the side cushion is placed slightly awkwardly. Forty-five. 
maybe could have done with a little more angle on the blue to play for the red near the ball cushion. That's why he's taking the yellow. Forty-seven. Twenty in front. Forty-eight. Not the best. To pot a colour is not that difficult, but something more required to get on the last red nicely. Is that perfect or not? 51. 52. So the black leaves Walden needing two snookers. Not that he's going to get much chance to play for them. 59. Doesn't really matter. Frame. Martin Gould. Yeah. So Martin Gould leads Ricky Walden by two frames to nil. Going strongly to improve his record to three wins from four. Over on table two, Judd Trump in action. Already a frame up and going strongly in this one. Well, as Trump goes past the winning post in frame two on table two. Third frame. Martin we're, Gould to break. We're back on table one with Martin Gould resuming 2 0 up on Ricky Walden.
five. Could have done with being a few inches above the blue. I can tell you that Judd Trump is in play with the century on table two. as he pots the blue the pink follows and the black a clearance of 124 by Judd Trump gives him a 2-0 lead over Graham Dot. Thin on the way up was the idea, rather than thin on the way back. Just reached. That was avoidable, but apart from the four points, there's no harm done.
that wasn't the best red to play to maybe he was playing to the left hand red of the back three the back three round the pink spot that is Couple of inches slower, and you would have been on the black. Seven. Eight. Ah, unexpected miss. And could be important. Having held the cue ball on the blue spot. Seven. Thirteen. Fourteen. Nineteen. Twenty-five. 
26. Thirty in front. Thirty-three. Thirty-nine. So this is frame ball. As long as he gets on, as long as he gets on on the black or the pink, forty. Dear, oh dear, how simple was that? So the gap is only 38. It would have been 45 had Walden potted that simple black. And there's only 43 remaining. <laughs> he didn't want to do that. He's got a pot of colour here, otherwise he would need a snooker. Brown and a safety, maybe. still in the game then albeit 33 behind with only 35 on it was a very simple frame ball black that Walden missed Gould should have been playing for snookers by now a snooker doesn't want that one back two cushions would appear to be the safest way of or the most likely way to get the last red safe I don't think it's worked out that way. One. So this is Gould's chance to clinch a three-three-three three, three nil win. Just after. Judd Trump has beaten Graham Dot 3 0 on table two. Six. 
مقصد Key shot coming up here. Good position on blue, and the rest should be pretty easy. Sixteen. Almost made a mess of it. Almost came behind the pink. Twenty-one. Pink and black needed, and no reason at all why you shouldn't get them. So Martin Gould beats Ricky Walden by three frames to nil.